Hey guys, for a few years now, I've been wanting a video doorbell, which can do, well, a few things, in my opinion, reasonable things. But up until now, I haven't been able to find anything that comes even close to those wishes. So what would I want from a video doorbell? Well, let's see. I want it to look decent and have decent video quality. No monthly subscriptions or any subscriptions of any kind, and I'd prefer it to be Ethernet hardwired, not Wi-Fi. Oh, and with that, PUE powered would be awesome. And well, compatible with my NVR using Onvif or RTSP, and if at all possible, hook into Home Assistant. And well, with that, not cost like 800 bucks or be some kind of piece of shit hardware. I mean, come on. Why doesn't something like that exist? We, I know we all want it. I mean, well, damn it. I think I may have found it. And it does all of those things. And well, it does them quite well too. So watch this video. Oh, okay. Need to calm down. Yes. So the whole story. I made a video a few years back about installing a $120 video doorbell, and I've been using it since then. But in all honesty, it's not really that great anymore. The button doesn't always work, so we don't hear it. The app stopped working completely long ago, and the 720p camera with night vision? Well, yeah, no. Uh, the, the, the blob of moving pixels, I call it. So. I've been looking for a replacement all that time. And a while back, I thought I might have found it and bought this S-Viz camera. But honestly, it didn't tick all of the boxes like Ethernet, PUE, or Home Assistant integration. And there was stuff with firmware you needed to try, and there was different types of firmware, and one did that better, and the other did that better. And I'm sure it's a decent option. But before I got around to it, I found my new solution, and that does all the things. So for those who've seen my latest Quinbox episode, this is no surprise, but I'm talking about some Dawa Dawa hardware, which is surprisingly affordable. And it's this guy. This is the Dawa VTO2202F-P. And as I just mentioned, it ticks all of those boxes. Now, in that Quinn box episode, I showed the boxes I got and I did a quick unboxing of everything. So if you're looking for that and see what comes in the box, etc., look at that video. Right now, let me show you what's in front of me. Basically, I have three pieces of hardware right now, but you can scale and piece together this solution however you want it or suits your needs. First things first, what most people are going to wonder, yes, you can buy only the external unit and use that as a doorbell. You do not need their PoE switch or a screen. There is a slight caveat with that, and we'll talk about that later in the video, so keep watching. Starting off, everything you see here is fully official PoE 802.3 AF compatible and can actually be bought in a simple kit. PoE being the main power source, that's also the first component. This little four port PUE switch is there to power everything. Comes with this, uh, well, this sizable adapter brick, but still. I have that switch linked up to the rest of my network using the most right port. And the two devices coming off the PUE port are the outside door station, that's uh, this guy, and the indoor screen. I've also tested all this equipment with a simple passive 48 volt PUE injector. And all hardware here has no problems working with that either. The seller I bought this from on AliExpress pre-configures everything, so when you get it and hook it up like this, it just works. Another awesome thing is that they sell locally from the EU or China, so you can get it really quickly. Mine got sent from Spain and I had it in four days. Excellent. So if you're looking to pick one or any of these items up after the video, Check out the links in the description. I'll have some affiliate links there and those also help out the channel. Now, let me hit that doorbell button and see what happens.
Excellent! The screen turns on almost instantly, starts making noise, and the image appears about a second later. Now it will keep doing this for 15 seconds, or you can pick up and talk to whoever is in front of the doorbell and they can talk back to you. So that all works quite well and really quick too. No 10 or 20 seconds to wait for the video feed, it's almost instant. Great! If anything, this little kit is already a pretty nice normal doorbell solution. The outside unit with the metal box, I mean, uh, yeah, is $155 with, as I said, the box included. You can buy a build on your wall or a build in your wall box. The simple screen I have here is $90 and the PUE switch you just saw, if you don't have one for the rest of your cameras already, is $44. Now this is an official 802.3 AF switch, but you can buy one of those passive bricks too for five or 10 bucks. All this together in kit form sells for just $280. And I think that's pretty affordable since you get everything you need with it. And it's actually pre-configured from the seller from AliExpress. Even some SD cards in the screen and you just plug it in, it all works. But you want a doorbell not a screen and all that stuff. Okay, okay, I hear you, I did too. But in the end, I think being able to hook up a screen is quite nice, and you can even watch your other cameras on it. As, well, at least my Dahua models. I also have a second version, that's uh, oop, this guy, and this one has Wi-Fi, which the other one doesn't. It can still be connected to PUE, but you can basically place it anywhere in the house using Wi-Fi, so that's uh, worth a little bit extra money. I'll probably be placing this one in my office and the other one somewhere upstairs or maybe in the attic, but okay. What you want to know, after testing for over a week and playing with it, I can say 100% for sure, yes, it will work with just the outside doorbell unit. In fact, here. Let me disconnect the screen and let's continue with some demonstrations. Now that caveat I mentioned, yeah. So there's no way to hook up a chime or gong directly to the outside unit. What? Useless? Yeah, I was worried about that too. So that's why I got the screens and as said, that's a very workable solution. If you don't want all that, you can just use the phone app though, and that also works surprisingly well. Let me demonstrate that. Even when on 4G, it connects pretty quickly and it's definitely usable. But you want a chime, you just want the bell to make noise. I get that, I, I do. I, I, I do, I want one too. So I'm getting to that. First, remember I said Onviv and RTSP? Yeah, well, that works perfectly. Here is my NVR NX Witness. Can anyone hear me? This is a test of the doorbell. And while uh, this is a test while I'm further away, and I don't know why I'm sneaking around, but I always sneak around during, around security cameras. So yeah, bye. And I have the camera feed in there. Dual feeds are working fine. And actually the latency for this camera is quite low compared to a regular IP camera. Video quality is the best I've seen to date for any video doorbell. It's not the best camera out there, but it's quite okay. And you can enable 1080p, 30 frames per second with an 8 megabit stream in H.264, and that makes it pretty good quality. During night, it has night vision with IR, but uh, IR is only turned on when someone presses the bell. By default, for the rest of the time, it's off. But come on, Ugh, this is a doorbell, right? It's not belling. 
You need to make it bell. It needs to make sound. We need to hear that chime or gong and you really just don't want to scream. Okay, fine. Let's finally talk about that. This is where the Home Assistant integration comes in. I'll go into more detail and make a full tutorial on how to set this up in follow-up videos. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see that and what you'd like to see. But here is what I have right now. So very quickly, someone, not me, wrote an API interpreter for the Dahua VTO API, which, well, this is a VTO unit. Then somebody else made an MQTT translator for that. And then a third person made that into a Home Assistant add-on. Got all that? Okay. So now the doorbell basically pushes a MQTT message to Home Assistant when someone pushes the button or something else happens. And well, that's quite instant. Here, look at this. That's the doorbell signaling Home Assistant and flipping a switch. A virtual switch in this case, but still. But it gets better. You can couple a Home Assistant automation with that and have it trigger a relay for a few seconds if you want. Which would ring your chime or gong like the normal button also does. A relay just connects two wires together and you can tell Home Assistant how long you want those wires to be connected together or in whatever pattern and create that much beloved doorbell sound you're all looking for. And since it's a video doorbell, the button stays on for a little while, but that's okay in my opinion. Maybe even a pro, since the person in front of your doorbell can't really spam you annoyingly. And as I said, you can program whatever chime or gong or whatever pattern you want, so you can make it sound like you want it to. Okay, so now we have it in Home Assistant, and Home Assistant knows when the button is being pressed. And we can make it do, well, basically anything. This is including the ringing the chime with the relay like I showed you. But let me plug something in real quickly. This is a Quinn LED Dig Uno board running WLED with a simple short piece of LED strip connected. It's displaying a pattern, but it can be any light and turn on or off at the time. But once I push the doorbell button next to triggering the relay, it starts automatically blinking in red. And after that automatically returns to whatever it was set to before. How cool is that? You can do this with any light or even device in the house that is controlled by home assistants. So right now my setup is ringing my normal doorbell for about three seconds using the relay solution and changing this LED strip. But, but we can make it blink all the lights. Um, yeah, so there will be more tutorials about how to do this relay setup. I made a video about relays uh, a while back. You can watch it here. But there will be future videos with tutorials uh, for Home Assistant and these devices and how to set everything up from scratch. But as I said, now that we have it in Home Assistant, we can make it basically do anything we want. Wanted to turn on an air horn? You certainly can. But if you have multiple areas where you need to hear a chime or gong, just connect multiple of these relays with these wireless ESP32 boards and you can have it ring everywhere at the same time. Or wear headphones a lot, I know we do, you can make it blink a light, so even if you don't hear the chime gong, whatever makes your sound, you can still see the light change color or blink or whatever. The possibilities are near endless. So this is it. This has no subscription, decent quality hardware and image quality, PUE fed inside my NVR, connected to Home Assistant and only costs you about 150 bucks or okay, maybe 160 bucks to include an ESP32 relay and a simple phone charger to power all that if you really want to know all the costs. But I think that's great value for what you're getting. And as I mentioned before already, I'll have some links to all of these things in the description. And if you want to pick any of that up, 
Those are affiliate links, so help me out a lot. Thank you. So, as said, I will be doing follow-up videos going through everything, how to set this up from scratch, from the hardware to the screens, if you want them, and how to configure everything in Home Assistant. Let me know in the comments if you were excited. I sure am, but I think that was already obvious. This thing does everything I ever wanted out of a doorbell solution, and it's actually relatively cheap too. Sure, being able to connect a chime gong to the outdoor unit itself is what you traditionally do, and that would maybe be even better, but I'll be con contacting Dahua about this to see if they can do that with a software change. The hardware is all in there, so in theory that could work. But in all honesty, half my home runs on Home Assistant anyway, so doing it this way with using a simple relay and an ESP32 board is perfectly fine for me. Actually, it makes cabling a lot easier, so yeah. So yeah, super excited. Let me know if you're excited too in the comments and tell me what you'd like to see in these tutorials or what you'd like me to try. Alternatively, you can also join our Discord server and, well, you can ask me questions there about these units too. I'm going to keep playing with this and try and get these tutorials to you as soon as I can. I mean, it's just, oh, you know, listen to that button. It's great. So it's, it's, it's all awesome. As always, thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to like the video if you did. And maybe help me out and share it around. People need to stop buying a Nest or a Ring Crap and keep paying for the rest of their life for the stuff they own. Let's get everyone this awesome doorbell that doesn't cost you $10 a month to run. More stuff about this doorbell coming up in the future with uh, installing it and outdoor footage and all that stuff. For now, thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.